The prize rush thing is just trivia, and um, I think our channel like gets tickets all together. I'm not exactly sure how it works. I just know there's trivia that pops up, you answer it, and if you get it right, we get tickets, and then I think they get, do a we uh, giveaway at the end of the week. We got Cassid in this game. I was first pick Zerith, so usually they always counter pick with either Fizz, Cassid, and Zed, Talon, or Yasuo. But this is on the uh, Diamond 2 account with 60 70% win rate. I don't know about this. Why didn't you just go to his jungle? Damn, if I took Cheap Shot here, I probably could have got him. I don't have a delay on either, or the map covered, so... Hopefully their jungler is not ghosting us. Why is this guy staying? Actually risky. He doesn't even have TP as a thing. Oh my god, that's a good start. Not bad. I actually thought a Mumu would die there. It was pretty close. But I was able to hit the stun. I'm just gonna back up. So this really helps. Oh, I didn't even get an assist on Kassin, but that's okay. Can't get boots. We could we could wait 20 gold and get a mana crystal. He's not gonna push that fast, it's a Cassadin. those back ones not really oh we can maybe get them I don't think we have the damage okay we do very good gank by a mumu wow a high elo game where I'm getting kills what is this a tuber He is Conqueror, so he is going um, red for him, it's looking like. Current elo, we are Diamond 2. I want the plating. Uh, there we go. Well, he's about to hit six soon, so let's just try and do something. Because as soon as he hits six, our kill pressure on him goes to like zero. Because he gets unlimited dashes. This won't kill him, no way. Yeah, 
I think if I hit that last one and then I queued him, he would have died, but I missed. I think I'm dead. Yeah, my stun didn't stun anyone. Oh well. I wasn't expecting them both to flash on me. Okay, that's a little close. Yeah, I'll take the dragon over that. At least Cassa didn't get, didn't get it, but King can be pretty scary. Salty, thanks for the host. Sorry I didn't see. What's going on in the bot lane? Oh, wow, top lane's doing pretty bad. He might just go through the wall. He's not even here. I actually can't play too aggressive anymore because Kassadin's level 6 and the cane actually likes to gank me for some reason. Even though he's not going to get his red form off me. Oh, he's going to get his red form off that. Okay, good. I was going to say, if he didn't die from that, the champion is turbo busted. Money on Jinx, though. Too bad they died. We have, um... Both of our team comps are pretty good scaling, but I think ours is a little better late game because we have more frontline. Oh, he's going blue form conquer. What? That's weird. I actually don't think that's a great idea to go blue form into Moo Moo Volley Bear Riven, but he definitely will be able to one-shot me, so I actually have a threat this game. Blue Kane actually is really strong versus Xerath. I don't want to go near this wall. Okay, he's top. That's good. If my bot lane gets ahead, we should probably win this game. Because Jinx is going to be a big part of our DPS later on. Alright, we have Ludens. We have the free boots too, so we don't have to worry about buying those. Get our boots right now. The cane has four kills. It's kind of scary. If he even just ults me, I'm pretty much dead, so I have to stay pretty far back. 
I can poke him like this. I walk up, poke, walk back. But he's going to come flying through a wall, and I won't have that much time to react, so I have to play extremely safe now. Because I, I was expecting him to go red form with his uh, runes and our comp. Oh, we have an AP Amuma. But I think he's going to go tank next. I actually hurt Cassidy. He's pretty behind, but... I can't walk up till I see Kane ganking another lane. Which looks like it's bot lane. Yeah, they're not gonna get him. But, Nar did die. Yeah, he's finally going aggressive. We can maybe fight him a little bit. Um, Kane's coming behind me. I got him. Alright, he's somewhere over here. I really don't want to go out, but if Amumu's still here, I think we'll be okay. He has no ult, so I think they're on dragon. Yeah. Cool. Let's get out of here. So, the good thing about Blue Kane is I'm actually able to kill him, unlike Red Kane, where he's really tanky and he doesn't die. But, he also can kill me way easier than a Red Kane can, so... But if I hit a stun on him, I basically one-shot him, unless Yumi's on him. Oh, I'm getting a blue buff. That's pretty good. A ward right here. Oh, I hit him. Yeah, I'm just not trying to die right here and give... Oh, I'm not even worth a shutdown. I'm still not trying to give uh, my blue buff up. Mm, that was kind of close. I think my... um. My Riven's a Darius one trick, and then Narban Darius. I have a feeling their jungler's just gonna sit bot. Since I'm playing so safe, I can't really get ganked. Top lane, oh, look, there he is. If I wasn't paying attention right there, he probably could've just popped me. He's, he's got a good amount of items. But yeah, see, that's why I'm staying back. Like, before I know it, he'll just, he'll be on top of me and I'm dead. But this is the this is the Zareth playstyle in high elo, especially when I'm counter picked by jungle and mid. So my main goal is just not to feed. Doesn't matter if I get kills or not, just not to give them kills. I hope he's still not around mid, but Amumu's near, so can maybe do something. Ooh, he just used his dash. Oh, the Ludens popped on that with the Scorch, and it killed him. I didn't think I would get him there, because he would have another dash. Ooh, the Mumu stuns this guy? Oh my god, okay. This game is just going great for me so far. I already have Cassidy's turret. Just to look, carry and low you low. Just try not make any mistakes, and people will just throw themselves at you. Um, we can go straight into death cap. It's kind of risky. If I was really trying to not die, I'd build an hourglass here because this guy can one shot me. But I'm trying to go for the carry here for the tuber. Kasten's getting magic resist. Once I get a death cap and void staff, I should just delete people. Oh, I can reach him with my alt actually, but Kassin might cancel me out. So I don't think I'm gonna go down there. That's a little risky. Enemy 
they have way too much mobility compared to me. And even Kassen was looking to go down there, so I probably would have died if I went down there. That's good that they lose their turret, though. Because I want them to come try and get this turret. A dragon ocean doesn't matter. I want them to come mid. As Zareth against assassins, I can't leave my turret ever. I could probably one-shot Kane at this point if I stun him. Zerith not picked in pro play. He has um, no self peel and no mobility. So he can be e easily counter picked. Any sort of engaged jungler or mid lane can just destroy him over and over. He's only good in mage meta, which is not the current meta. That's why I smurf a lot. Doesn't matter what you play on smurfs, you can always have fun. I don't know if I can go stop that Herald. I actually think we can. Oh, I thought I got it for a second. Is he going to come through here? I feel like um, pro players are now going the route where like they'll just play the safest champions possible because they won't look as bad if they do underperform. Like say they play Zareth and go like 0-10 miss every skill shot, they're gonna look bad and like, I don't know, it's better than playing Corky and going like 0-5 but still, you know, you can scale and shit. But it's, it's very easy to fuck up on this champion, like once you're behind, you're behind. She's pretty low. Yo, he's heralding right here. Alright, whatever. Wait a second. Almost got her. I got every summoner she had under ult. See, Kane's just really annoying. Oh my god. Good, good ult. Wait, I could take out the cat now. I could probably kill her in two hits. No, she's tankier. I need to get out of here. I don't know where their bot lane went. Cassidy. Oh, she has magic resist. That's why I don't do damage. But I have a uh, death cap now. Just need to not lose Baron. We also need to try and ARAM this and end it soon before Kassin scales and Sivir scales and their top lane scaling. It's because we have a person on Ribbon that doesn't actually one trick Ribbon, so they're not really gonna have the ability to carry this game. I don't know if they're on that Baron. I don't think they do it that fast though. I think I got hit by a boomerang too. Oh, we have an ocean, so that's nice. Oh, I don't have to recall. But I could get a blasting wand. I'll fake recall here. They think I'm recalling, so they'll try and push mid right here.
I do a lot to Sivir, she just heals to full instantly. So maybe a Morello's would be pretty good. Nice, another shutdown for me. So they actually don't have that much MR. So I think Morello's next will be good to cut down that Yumi heal. Since she's actually really annoying. I have time to recall right here. Unless they fight, I'll cancel it. Let's get this. Should do a lot of damage now. They might go for Baron here. This is kind of scary if Riven dies. Once this guy dies, though, we should get a lot on the map. I just really want to check this, but if I die, we lose 900 gold. Okay, cool. I got a ward on it. They'll never get this turret unless I die or they go all in on it when I recall. Uh, I'm gonna just alt this guy to get him off this. Damn, I actually could have got him there. At least I got him off the turret. That means they shouldn't be able to fight for this. Oh my gosh, I just deleted Sivir. One spell. That's what happens when the Zareth picks up all the shutdowns, so. Alright, this is our winning fight. We gotta push something off this. We should just get towers, honestly. I'm flashing. The team is indecisive here. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna move at something. That's good all by Jinx. Okay, we can Baron now. We just... I think the good call would have been to 5 push mid because their team has really shitty C... Or, uh... What is it called? Wave clear. with Sivir dead? Um... I think we're fine here. I'm backing up because me dying is not good. Okay, Nar died. I'm just gonna get out. Oh, fuck. I gotta run straight mid. Sivir will kill this turret instantly. Probably all. Oh. Yumi was like, no thanks, not detaching anymore. They're going for this. We can actually stop this. I need to know where Kane is, though. I don't have Flash anymore. If he even just smites me and ults me, I'm gonna die. I'm just glass cannon builds against two assassins. So the way to counter this is just for me to stay the fuck back. Okay, we lost it. That's fine. It's just Ocean. Got a blue potion now, too. Kassadin still doesn't really have items yet, so he's pretty weak. Once he gets a Lich Bane, he'll, he'll do damage. I gotta clear this wave. I do massive damage right now. Like, I have Blue Potion, Morello's, Death Cap. Gathering Storm, 24. I could just straight up probably alt the Kane, but uh, it's hard to hit him. Okay, as long as we see him, I can walk up. Look at that damage on Sivir. He's gonna try and go through the wall and get me. Ooh. 
There we go. Took out the one guy that can kill me. We should win the game now. That's all I needed to do. Amumu wasted his ult, though. Nar wants to go in. Sivir just got deleted by me. Ruben's doing stuff. Sivir out. Just abusing my max range. Carrying a high elo game just by playing really safe. Mm, yeah, we can end. Okay, he's going for Jinx. That's good. Let's try and predict him going there. Oh, we did predict. We just didn't do it, uh... On time. I actually just deleted this Sivir. I do so much damage. Oh, she just walked in a straight line. I got her still. Let me see if I can kill you, me. Let's go. Not bad. Let's see the damage chart. Probably did a lot of damage. I'm gonna give that to Mumu. He played pretty darn well. I only got 16 LP for some reason with a really good win rate. Wow. 37k.